A ativista estadunidense Angela Davis veio ao Brasil para o seminário Democracia em Colapso, organizado pela editora Boitempo. Neste domingo, visitou a Escola Nacional Florestan Fernandes, do MST. Angela falou com organizações do movimento negro e com o movimento dos trabalhadores rurais sem terra sobre a importância de sua atuação na luta camponesa. Land struggles are extremely important uh, uh, for uh, people, uh, women and men, who have been uh, deprived of uh, their rights in society. Uh, um, the right to live is a basic right, and that should include land. Uh, land struggles um, help us to recognize how important it is to develop uh, alliances with indigenous people, uh, uh, you know, particularly given the ways in which indigenous people have been stewards of the land. Uh, and um, those of us who live in, in, in the Americas uh, and in the Western Hemisphere um, are either here because our ancestors were colonized or because our ancestors were brought here often involuntarily as a result of colonization. So I think it's, it's so important to, to recognize these um, connections, uh, these relationalities. Uh, um, there can be no effective struggle to free black people or black women without addressing the land. It also makes us recognize what it means to protect the land and the ocean and the air. Uh, and so land struggles are directly related to struggles um, against in, in, in the, in the destruction of the environment. Uh, uh, I think this is what we often call intersectionality, recognizing the connections, uh, the relations. And I think intersectionality is most powerful when we consider intersectionality of struggles. Uh, and so I would like to congratulate you for the extremely important work that you are doing. Um, and um, you will change the world. The world will be different. Um, Uh, the people with whom you're struggling, they will play a role in forging a better future for us all. Referência na luta por direitos humanos, ela falou sobre a dimensão que representa sua passagem pelo Brasil. Well, I would say for a long time I have been um, impressed by the social movements here in Brazil. Um, for many years, for decades, uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, and I feel humbled. Uh, uh, each time I visit Brazil, I, I always try to make the point that I think I have a great deal more to learn from uh, people who are struggling in Brazil than, than they have to learn from us. Um, um, The black feminist traditions here are powerful. Uh, and I think the world should know the work of Lelia Gonzalez. Uh, uh, and uh, the world should recognize uh, how, um, how black women in Brazil, and I, 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 I'm specifically um, thinking about uh, Luisa Bairros, uh, who Uh, began in Bahia, and and I, I met her in in the 1990s, uh, and I watched her persistence, and I watched the work that she did in Bahia, and then of course she became the the, the head of the Ministry of of Racial Equality. Such a thing has never existed in the United States. Uh, There's so many ways in which we can learn from the movement history of Brazil. Uh, so, as I said before, I'm very humbled and I, I hope to 
um, play a role in, in creating solidarity for your struggles here in Brazil in the years to come.